You know what we're doing. Yes, we are going through my other Black Friday special. I know we are past Black Friday now, and I hope you guys, for my American friends, I mean, I guess Canadian friends, we celebrate, we celebrate the Black Friday, but we did our Thanksgiving in October. And actually, there's a fun fact. For my American friends and any other countries that maybe are interested, we do celebrate Thanksgiving in Canada, but we do it in October. And I will say, I will say, it makes more sense in October than November. Don't hate me. It just does because you're so close to thanks uh, to, to Christmas when you do uh, when you do the end of November. That's like so close to Christmas. So you're getting together with your family, and then guess what? A month later, you're with your family again. And not that that's a bad thing, but I like spacing it out a little bit because you got Thanksgiving, you go to Halloween, you got a month off, and then you got Christmas. So um, we've seen that before. We've seen that. If you haven't seen the first episode of my Black Friday um, collection box openings, um, that will be on screen at the end of the video. So um, I will, you know, there you go. There's the code card. I'm not going to make you look at the promo cards again because they're worth like nothing. So if you remember, this is a great, this was 25 bucks, 25 bucks for seven packs of Crown Zenith. I love it. That is great. We are just, I mean, we, we, we are through uh, 151 and now we're going to be on in what, two months, less than two months, something like that for the next holiday set, which is shiny Pokemon again, which is, you know, gets me excited. There is a Charizard in the set because why not? There has to be a Charizard in, in, a, in a shiny set. I don't think we'll ever uh, get the hype that was from the original um, Charizard from Hidden Fates. That was fun. That was just what a chase for that Bidoof. And we have got a hop. Look at that hop with the signed card. I might need it. I don't remember. I think I needed one of the one of the signed cards. I just I don't remember which one. But um, I digress. Yes, it was. Uh, we I can't believe it. We're moving on to the next um, holiday set, and that was always my plan was to try and complete all the holiday sets because completing any set nowadays is just absolutely uh, diff just just crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. Um, and I'm all for trading. I believe in trading to complete a set. So if anyone's looking for Crown Zenith to complete and want to do some trades, or if they're looking for 151, or hey, whenever we get into, what's it called? Paldean Fates? I, I, I forget. The name just, just came out not too long ago. So um, for those that don't know, there's a new shiny set coming out next year, beginning of next year. So, all right. Emolga, we've got a Young Goose, we've got a Radiant Charge Bug, and we've got a Full Art. P full Art Professor's Research. Hey, I'll take it. That's not bad. The Charge Bug's like 50 cents, which is too bad, because I do think these Radiant cards are cool, but there, there is no value there. <laughs> and I'm thinking on the next one, because yes, I have another one of these boxes we're going to be opening on the next episode of this series, we're going to go through the binder as well, so I can show you where I am, what I've got, uh, what I'm waiting on, what I'm missing, what I'm hoping to get. Um, cause I am still missing some rarer cards, namely some of the gold cards. Um, I have two of the four. Um, and you know what the funny part is, is I've opened up a decent amount of this set, but I have not pulled any of the gold ones myself. It has been my aunt, um, so graciously, uh, pulling the cards and then, and then giving me some of her duplicates. So, um, and that's it, you know, you do your best trading, trading with friends and family. That's the way to do it. We've got, oh, another trainer. Man, we are just killing it with the trainers out of these boxes. Out of the first one, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. You gotta watch that one if you didn't see it at the end. We got Colress's Experiment, which I know I need, and a Pangoro. So we are definitely doing well with the trainers. The, you know, and I think some of these cards, they don't hold a ton of value. Some of them do, um, but they are at least difficult to pull. So uh, at any time I'm doing a Pokemon opening, it's all about completing some of the set. Um, I'm still missing um, a number of V cards from the set. Um, some rare cards, like Zara Aura, for some reason. The non-holo rare, I don't have that card. Why? No one knows. The, the, the Pokemon gods, uh, they are the ones that are making some of these decisions. And I guess me, when I was picking the box that I wanted to, uh, you know, open. Oddish, we've got a seal. Cricketot. <laughs> it mocks me. There's a Zera Aura Reverse, but I need the non-hollow. I need... Wait, wait, could it be? <sighs> That's a tease. That was a tease. And it's not like it's a valuable card. It really isn't. In fact, I know many of you probably be like, I'll send you one for free. 
but don't do that. Um, I want to trade. I don't, I, I really, really believe in trading. So that is the way we want to do this. But for those that have not seen me before, hi, my name is Mark. I'm the Millennial Collector. I open up Pokemon cards and uh, open up, um, you know, uh, other sports cards sometimes. I mean, I change it up every now and then. So if you would, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I would appreciate that or at the end of this video. Um, and certainly we would love to have you on the channel. We are um, approaching 5,000. We're up to 5,000 uh, very, very soon, I hope. Um, and I would love to do a, a, a special contest or something when we get there. So help uh, Millennial Collector out. Glare and Meowth, we've got a Whalmer. We've got a Ditto. This card is not worth as much as I think it should be because I think this is an awesome card. This is a cool card. I like it. Ditto. And we've got another Hop. That, you know what? Good, good pull. That's some, there's some trade bait right there. And I think I've pulled that one actually a couple times. I don't think it's that rare of a card. Um, but it, it's so weird. I'm not getting any Vs. I need, I need some V cards still. Let's see. Maybe we got a V in this pack here. Maybe we got a gold card. Maybe we got a, some of the, the energies because I, I still need some of those energies. Two, three, four. Here we go. Let's get something good out of lightning energy. That was a whole bunch of leaf energy in a row. Lost vacuum. We got a layer on Shinx, Larvesta, Ponyard, Whalmer. We've got a Pokeball a reverse rare Zacian, and we have got another Zacian. So there you go, back-to-back -back Zacians. I was just talking about how I didn't get any V cards, but we've got a Zacian V, and I might need that one, I'm not sure. All right, it is down to the final pack. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Um, yeah, it helps. It helps push the uh, channel out into more, especially if you like the video, especially if you subscribe, especially if you leave a comment. Um, you know, I, I love to know what people think of this set versus uh, 151 and maybe the new the new shiny set. What do you think? Is that going to be is that going to be a good set? I, I don't know. I I'm always excited to hunt for a Charizard, especially a shiny one. Actually, the shiny Pikachu looks cool. Yeah, shiny Pikachu looks about the same. Just a little bit. Just just like a little bit redder, oranger, maybe. Um, oh, we got, oh, there's another trainer. I know I've got in the third hop. That is crazy, the third hop. And my, uh, I've just, I've done well with the trainers in this opening. That's great. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're having yourself an amazing day. A couple of videos over here. Make sure you check them out. Hit that subscribe button over there as well. I really appreciate it. Have an amazing day.